This is part one of the engine rebuild for this jet ski. I'm sure you've all heard the phrase, it just needs a new starter. Well, take this as a warning to just assume the worst case. I skipped over a few parts, but taking out the intake manifold and the exhaust manifold, it's not too difficult. It's just a bunch of bolts on top that are pretty easily seen. I was really hoping to just get away with a top end rebuild on this engine, but you know, things don't always go according to plan. So here I am taking off the uh, valve cover, uh, pretty straightforward. You got all the bolts on top, uh, cam chain tensioner here, and just kind of working my way down, get the engine torn down. Yeah, taking the engine apart, you don't actually need to be too careful. Um, a lot of people get a little bit too obsessed with this. Just make sure you got even pressure taking everything out um, and you'll be fine. Uh, these two bolts longer than the others. So anything that's a little bit different, just make sure you keep track of it. Uh, but you can only put it back together one way. So don't be too concerned as you got it coming apart. Here I'm just taking off the timing cover to pull out the chain guides to uh, get ready to pull the head off. This is what happens to saltwater skis that aren't maintained properly, which was the ultimate cause of doom for this ski. Um, saltwater intrusion pretty much just locked up these, these pistons, but this one wouldn't budge at all. So here I'm trying to just clean up as much as I can, try to hopefully save the cylinder before I um, pull the cylinder or try to separate it from the block at least. Yeah, so far I'm having no luck trying to pull the cylinder off. These should pull off fairly easily, um, but in this case, the stuck rings, stuck pistons, it, it just won't budge. I think this is the point where I started thinking, crap, I got a big project on my hands now. This is no top end rebuild anymore. So since the cylinder and pistons are one unit now, I'm gonna have to separate the uh, connecting rods from the crankshaft and just separate it that way and then try to bang out the piston from the top. So before I can separate the cases, uh, I gotta take that oil pump out in order to get access to all the bottom case uh, bolts. Sure looks like they did frequent oil changes, right? Very important O-ring. Uh, if it's missing or damaged, you'll have no oil pressure. Uh, here I'm loosening up the front stator assembly because there are bolts that go into the cases there. So you gotta take those out in order to finish separating the cases. using very gentle taps to just pop the cases free. Um, they are just sealed with like a factory sealant. Moment of truth, uh, see what the bottom end looks like. The main bearings for the crankshaft actually look like they're in really good shape. Uh, crankshaft has got zero marks on it at all. Uh, we'll see what the 
rod bearings have to say and kind of decide on what to do from there. Well, the rod bearings aren't perfect. Um, that wouldn't create a loss in oil pressure, but at this point, since I'm already in here, I might as well get a bearing set for the whole engine and just rebuild the whole thing. For the most part, pistons, well, at least the ones that are free, uh, actually look like they're in decent shape. I will be reusing these, um, just getting a new ring kit and cleaning these up. There's not really much, if any, wear marks on the skirts, so they should be good to reuse. Yeah, that one came out really easy. I was having such a hard time when it was still attached to the cases. Um, but the piston should be just fine to reuse as well. Yeah, piston being seized this tightly uh, has kind of depleted all of my hopes for saving the cylinder. At first glance, the cylinder actually looks like it might be okay. I don't see any major hitting or score marks, but I'm going to do a light hone and see what it reveals after that. Yeah, you can see all the rust from the uh, salt water that just kind of sat inside the engine and corroded these rings. Uh, that's essentially what locked up this piston and uh, caused the motor to just be stuck. Yeah, normally you wouldn't be um, using a hone in nickel plated cylinders, but I'd I'm at a loss at this point, so I just want to see if it's uh, going to be any use at all. Nicosil is a hardened coating that resists wearing from the piston rings. Once that coating is gone, you'll have hardened piston rings wearing against aluminum, and you can guess what happens after that. Sadly, uh, the cylinder's trash. So I guess now I'll order a new cylinder and wait for that to come in.